parts of Alberta ravaged by weeks of wildfires are on evacuation alert again tonight over severe flooding. It was 10 years ago today that rising water levels in southern Alberta killed five people, displaced 100,000 others, and left $5 billion in damage. The new states of emergency are in the central part of the province, and so is CTV's Alberta Bureau Chief Bill Fortier. The rushing river just meters away from the Fenwick's cabin is normally a quiet creek that wanders around their manicured lawn. There's one of the pins for the horseshoe pit. Now much of that lawn has been swallowed up. Lawn decorations swept away after the embarrassed river overflowed its banks. Their community, Lower Rob, is under an evacuation order, but Al and Bernice Fenrick and their cabin are okay. Can you still smile? Oh, yeah, yeah, what the hell? What are you going to do? <laughs> Lower Rob is one of many communities across Alberta's Yellowhead County currently dealing with flooding following several days of intense rain. It has been relentless, so now we're in a flood situation. We've got roads washing out, we've got bridges being compromised. In the hamlet of Piers, this critical bridge has been damaged by rising water. So right now those residents are cut off uh, for driving their vehicles back and forth, but we've got emergency services in there, um, so if there's something that goes on, they're ready to respond. The town of Edson has declared a local state of emergency. This storm is considered uh, to once in a 50 year event. Chantelle Bustard's entire ranch is underwater. She had to rescue her horses and dogs. You see your home and it's just abs like flooding before your eyes and it's just like all your hard work is just gone. Many of the communities now threatened by floods were in the path of wildfires just weeks ago testing the strength of Yellowhead County and its roughly 11,000 people. I am proud to be able to stand here and say that we have not had uh, the loss of one single human life. For properties like this one, there's now a lot of cleanup ahead, but first the threat has to pass. The rain stopped around mid-afternoon for much of the region. There's more in the forecast though for tomorrow. However, it's not expected to be anywhere near as intense as it has over the last few days. Bill Fortier, CTV News, Yellowhead County, Alberta.